Hello everybody, we are back, and this is uh, a lost play with Ben and Jake. Hello, hello. Minecraft world. <laughs> yeah, Ben, this is, uh, yeah, so, uh, as this where we got up to last time, guys, we uh, we made a, a nice infinite cobble, well, Ben made a nice infinite cobble gen, and I built, uh, I built a nice house. Uh, I don't know if I did much while I was away. Uh, probably put some lanterns in and such, and just finish this place off quite nice, so it looks pretty. But today, I am going to actually build a perimeter for our base, uh, so that we are not constantly hounded by mobs. Is it becoming day, Ben, or is it becoming night? It's becoming night. Okay, well, we'll have a sleep then, quickly. Uh, so yes, I'm going to build a perimeter in our base, and I am going to make us a garden so we actually have some food, so we're not running around starving the entire time. Um, I'm just going to move my bed. You're going to move your bed? Move it down in here if you like. Because I'm near the spider spawner, and when you're near a spider spawner, um, yeah. <laughs> Badness? That's okay. What are you going to be up to today, Ben? What are you working uh, on? Today, I am going to start to try and work on an uh, infinite supply of lava. Nice. Very nice. I think that's probably the next thing after cobblestone, and uh, I'll be probably touching on some other things, but I'm not 100% sure yet. Cool, cool. That, I yeah, think, I'm thinking if I... I think that's what I'm going to work on anyway. Yeah, no, that sounds good. I'm thinking if I get the opportunity, I might even work on some Ars Magica. Is something I'm interested in doing. Because uh, i got to get that started eventually. Yep. Oh, God, I see the Mr. Hisses out there. Mr. Hisses. Uh, I can... Also known as Creepers. Yes, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Creepers. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to keep the chisel on me. So what I'm thinking is I might just make this outside perimeter just... Nearly completely out of cobblestone, but maybe you get like cobblestone walls or something. Well, if you make it completely out of cobblestone, at least it's free. Like, yeah, I just thought it just—it's just a perimeter. It's just going to be a, and I, I don't—I don't really want a, a massive tall wall either. It's—it's it, it's so. not like we're going to. It's not for aesthetics. <laughs> it's for. Uh, oh my god, I'm, I'm actually doing something. It's not for aesthetics, Ben. Yep. When did this happen? <sighs> we're quitting Minecraft. <laughs> Oops, I may have left Minecraft music on. Gone. Actually, I think I might have as well. Turn that music off. Yeah, for some reason. It was off last time. Oh well. Alright, where's the creepers? Okay. Where's damn creeps? There you are. Come come on, further away. Oh, no. Go further away. You blew up right there. What an asshole. Alrighty. Oh. So yeah, so I thought I might, uh, I might make, uh, I'll make this wall, i probably put some nice little gates in and such. I might use, there's a method of slab gates you can make, guys, which means you don't actually have to have a, an open and close gate, and mobs can't pass through it. And I'll show you that trick when we get up to it quite soon. Ben, how, do you want to ex start explaining how you're going to make a, an infant lava gen? Alright, what we are going to use is, I will be needing clay. But clay shouldn't be too hard to get in this. I've got a creeper on my tail. Or a Mr. Hiss, as somebody likes to call him. Mr. Hiss. I like that. Um, so the way you do it is you get a crucible, which I'll show you is how to make. And then you... Actually, I'm kind of losing my train of thought. Um, you get a crucible, you fill it full of cobblestone, so that's where the cobblestone generator will be coming in, and I'll be using transfer pipes to, uh, get rid of the cobblestone. Uh, get, okay, get so rid we'll of the be, lava we'll be out getting, of it. I just need to work out. So we'll be out. getting infinite power via, uh, via lava generator. Yeah, pretty much. That sounds really good. Um, because electricity, I think, will come into play very soon for us guys. Uh, just because, you know, you need electricity for a lot of the machines in this, and... And uh, we need we need some automation. Yes. What do you think? Yes, we do. <laughs> um, just be careful out there. I've just walked up there and there's a fair few um creeps, creeps, Mr. and those stupid mana people I don't like. Ah, yeah, the mana man elemental elementals. Yeah, yeah, those guys are uh, not fantastic to uh, go up against. They are no. It's all good. Oh, yep, like that. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> just as I just said it, Jake, you. just as I said it, you were like, yep, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, I'm done. I, I, I was legitimately listening. It's just, it didn't stop me from dying. 
Uh, I might take a stone sword with me this time. Oh, <coughs> oh my god. There you are. Son of a bitch. Just... Oh. Ah, there we go. All dead. Very easy. Gee. I was wearing my Osmium pants as well. How could I possibly have died? Do you know how to make an infinite um, wood farm? I haven't worked an that infinite one out. wood farm. Yeah, I know if you've got uh, rubber trees and you bone meal a rubber tree, they'll only grow a certain height, but you only get three. Oh no, wait! It only uses one bone meal when you. Okay. So like, it doesn't matter. You know, like when you do a tr use bone meal on a sapling, it sometimes yep. takes quite a while to um, for it to grow. With oh, rubber trees, so rubber it tree takes saplings one. are just Instant. a definite one grow. Yeah, one one hit grow. That's awesome. That's good to know. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> the more you know, eh? The more you know. So I'm going to give us a little uh, a little bit of water as well with this with this perimeter. Yep. J just because well, water is useful. We can build a little dock later or something. It's just going to be just a nice size perimeter, uh, which I'm going to have to... Ooh, there's a cave entrance for us. It'll be a nice size perimeter, which I'll have to light everything up. And guys, I'm pretty sure a lot of you probably know this trick, uh, which is if you press... F7. Like that. F7. F7, is it? Peep. Oh, F7. F7 gives you these little markers on the ground. Uh, and what these little markers on the ground do for you is everywhere that's yellow means a mob can spawn there. Everywhere that's red, uh, so yeah, it means a mob will spawn there in the dark. If it's red, it means a mob will spawn there during the day as well. So, the idea is to, you know, eliminate as many of those as you can, just so we, uh, yeah, just so we don't have mobs spawning all over us. Yeah, it is a good trick, uh, that. I do like that one. Um, I think it's one of the be better tools I come across in these mod packs. Yeah. Just because you actually have control over where your area is then, you know, and what's, what's happening within it. Means I can do something like this where I can just expand out our perimeter. And we can hopefully make it mob free. And then I can make my farm, um, which will be nice. It yeah. just means we'll have uh, constant food and won't have to worry about creeps and shiz. I'm going to make some mob traps soon as well. Uh, like, specifically, I, th I like the idea of making some sinking sand traps. Yeah, I've also thought about um, getting a bit of cobblestone and just one bit of cobblestone on you. And if you die, you leave a gravestone. So let's say if you kill me, Jake, mm. you will leave a gravestone and then we will um, make a skeleton spawner, make a skeleton spawner, which is bone meal, but they don't shoot arrows. Yeah, that's a good idea. I like that. We'll do that. That sounds like a very good idea. So we'll have to make like a, a mob grinder of some kind. We could do the traditional kind. Yeah. But we could also do maybe one of the automated versions if we liked. So, all right, guys. Um, this is how you make a hammer. We will need a hammer for what I'm needing to do. And also we are going to need a barrel. And to make an oak barrel, it's, I think, a half slab at the bottom and two rows of wood. Yep. To make an oak barrel. And we're going to need... The whole idea is I'm trying to get porcelain. And to make porcelain, I need bone meal and clay. And this is a decent way of making clay. What we do is we get cobblestone, place it on the ground, or you can just hit stone. I don't know if it works if you just hit stone. I'm not sure either. Yeah. Oh my god, that's pretty cool. What's cool? I got stone out of it, and I got a uh, creek chime chime right oh you got chime right come yeah. right off uh, just by That's hitting awesome. that... and i got v vitium dust <laughs> oh vitium dust okay yeah. so you got a bunch of ours magicka stuff yeah so that's how you get that by hitting stone anyway guys well, you get cobblestone and you hit it with a hammer it does go quicker if you have an iron or a diamond hammer or something like that. I don't think rubies work with it. I'll just check because I do have a couple on me. Just a couple. Just uh, a couple? Yeah. Are you hoarding rubies, Ben? Uh, I got 43. You got 43 rubies? Christ. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to come make some ruby tools. All right. So then we've got um, seven gravel. Then what we do, guys, we put the gravel down on the ground. 
and we just do the same thing over again to make sand. This is how I'm eventually going to make an infinite sand generation, an infinite gravel generation, and an infinite dust generation. Well, this sounds nice. It means we can have uh, we can have endless glass just pumping in, yep. and, and liquid glass, and things like that. Yep. Glass is one of those pesky and things you always go to when you need it and you never have it. Yep, exactly. And then we hit this, the sand and it makes dust. Now what we're going to do is, there's a chest down where I'm working, Jake. I'll leave the rubies in there for you. Alright, thank you. Alright, so now what we do is we go head down to the water. Well, you don't have to head down to the water, but we don't have an infinite... Um, water source yet in our base really are we that big of scrubs that we don't have an infinite water source set actually, up? actually i might just make one they are pretty simple to make i'll make the <laughs> triangle ones so at least um we can um you know <laughs> yeah we should we should have a few infinite well. water sources oh, oh uh, well this i'll hide it pretty well. well so we'll do, just make do, it in this room do, where jake's bed is oh awesome <laughs> And you've always wanted a infinite water source in your bed, right? Well, I get thirsty at night. That's what I thought. It's just nice. I, I was say, actually saying legitimately thank you, Ben. That was there was no sarcasm in my voice at all, was there? No. Could you could you hear sarcasm? Uh little maybe. Yeah. Does the does the inflection does the inflection help? It's a little bit off putting, <laughs> but Am I confusing you? Yeah, you are a little actually. I am a little. Actually, Minecraft's confusing me because my mini map now shows where all the mobs are. Yes. And I can't last like that. time it didn't. And I haven't quite worked out how to turn that on and on or off, so it's good to have. So, guys, what we do is we cut out a little um, L shape, like this tiny little L shape. We put a block of water in the back there and a block of water in the side. And now this block here next to Jake's bed is an uh, infinite water source, so we can just keep grabbing water from it, and that's how we do it. Now to make clay, we put down the barrel, and we put water in it first, I found out, and then you put dust, and that makes a block of clay. So that's also a way we can make infinite clay generation. Ooh, yeah, I like that. Um... Infinite clay generation would be really good. Or just getting a bunch of clay so I can make a... Bricks. I can, oh, because we can make gravel as well. I'm going to be, be able to make a... Uh, tinkers. Make a smeltery. Yeah, a tinkers yeah, thing tink really quickly, yeah. And also that we're going to make bricks. Oh, we can make bricks, yeah. yeah. We can make... It's actually cheap now for us. Yeah. Because I used to hate playing Minecraft and making bricks. Because you'd... Like, clay's not that... Clay's pretty rare. <laughs> like, realistically. Yeah, it's not particularly common. Oh my god, yeah, we have a perimeter that has no torches in it yet, so let's go have a sleep quickly. And I will light this to the buggery during the day. Okay, so you're coming in the house, I can hear you. Oh wow, we've got a bunch of red crosses in the house. That'll be your job. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I'm going to have to light up our life. <laughs> You can you can de um de danger the area. Yeah, I'll de danger it. Let's have a look what we got. We need some coal. All right, guys, I'll just make these yeah, last two. A piece two. of coal. Wait, ben, where's it like? Do you have coal? There's some coal in the wall behind my bed here. We have a we are severely lacking in coal for some reason. Yeah, I know. Like. Sadly so. Once I work out um, infinite tree generation, I'll make an infinite um, charcoal. Oh, that's genius. Or yeah. magical crops. We can also do magical yeah. crops. So. Magic crops are probably not a bad idea. The dye essence is quite good, um, but the, the coal's pretty nice as well. I think I should probably light up the inside of the house first. <laughs> More than outside. That Yeah, just, just thinking. That might be a good, wise idea. Just saying. Yeah. Um... Just saying. Bones, you know, we got it's, six. it's just a little bit of advice. Uh, All right. Now, guys, we get bones, turn it into bone meal. You add your bone meal. Oh, wow, I've only got 18. And you clay next to each other. And I cannot make porcelain. Ooh, that's different. You cannot make what? You can't make porcelain. Mm, unless it's... 
Oh, there we go. I had. To... That's weird. I had to do it in the crafting bench. What were you trying to use? Just my inventory. Oh, okay. Ah, uh, well, you know it happens. So, guys, and then you do it in a U shape, and I can. I've got enough to make two unfired crucibles. Now they're unfired at the moment, so we go over to our uh, furnaces, put some sticks in there because I don't have any coal. And they will come out <laughs> as fired crucibles. Now, crucibles need heat source underneath them. And a good version of heat source, the best version is fire. As in nether yeah, brick. Specifically, yeah. Nether brick, and then you light it on fire with a flint and steel. The worst is a torch. Then it's you got lava, um, flowing, lava and flowing lava are two different things as well. And oh really? Yeah, they got two different values. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, f what is I mean, it? it a sense. torch is point one. Point one of a thing. Uh, point of a, thing, let, of let, a value. Let, let's say quickness. It's point one, and the quickest is fire at point three. So fire is three times as quick as a torch. All okay, oh, right, you've cool. made our uh, boundary quite big. Good. Yeah, I've made it big. I thought there's plenty of space for us to expand. We could do a little, a little town thing. Yeah, I'm thinking. I, I w I'm actually thinking about going, um, going, um, hmm, under more. Mate, you want to go down and under? Yeah, we well, can build underground. Cabins. Mostly underground with all the machines, I think, because no one likes to look at them. But I'll bring up yeah, all I the stuff upstairs, like all the output of all these machines. Well, everyone's aware that I like to build buildings, so yeah. I'll, I'm going to build a ton of very nice-looking buildings, probably, as we get more and more materials. Yeah. So, guys, as you can tell, there's my two crucibles. Um, I've just joined it in to the back of my cob gen before it goes upstairs to that barrel. Um, oh, cool. So That's a good idea. They're pumping in now. And, um, yeah, they've pumped in. They'll just keep pumping in, pumping in cobble, even though it might be lava. They'll keep pumping in cobble, and it'll melt more cobble into lava. I can't actually remember how much lava these crucibles hold, but it is a fair bit. But I'm going to build some uh, transferred nodes on the front of them, liquid transferred nodes, to pump out the lava, and I'm going to build some tank systems, just for now, I think. But I think... That's going to do us for this episode. Oh, no. <laughs> Why? What? You oh, God. To? What have I done? <laughs> what have I done? Oh, you've built a perimeter. That, like, I'm, I'm looking on the map. It looks, uh, it looks pretty big. Uh, what have I done? I went to go what into my video settings, but I was to turn the, my lighting up from moody. <laughs> oh, God, no. Screw you, skeleton! Oh yeah, I found some coal. I kind of accidentally flowed down a river. <laughs> um, and now I may have half a heart. Oh dear. Oh. Ben, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I've, I've, I've been in better places before and I just killed a bat with a pickaxe. Do we have any lapis? I've just found some lapis. Oh, good. Well, if you can grab it, that would be really helpful. Well, I, oh, actually, I do have a ruby pickaxe. Actually, you're not that far from home. Yeah, I literally just got swept away in the water because I went to change my video settings and was already standing in water. Oh, dear. It's really funny you want lapis because I literally just found it. Oh, yeah. I need lapis to make um, liquid transfer nodes. Oh, great. Well, I just found... Give me a second. Let's have a look. I just found a stack of lapis plus six. Oh, that's plenty. But I have half a heart and I'm well underground. <laughs> Alright guys, another handy thing is... I wonder what else we can put in a... F anyway, we, we, we have to end this. <laughs> That's a th no, no. <laughs> okay, yep, yeah, sure. We'll That's... see you next time, guys. Alright guys, catch ya. Bye. Bye. That went well. <laughs>